hello and welcome to vibe tutorials in this tutorial we're going to learn how to use the performance accelerator in ybp now this performance accelerator is specifically designed for ybp api hits making them much faster which increases the overall ux of your vibe app so let's see how it works so when so if you have ybp 1.9.8.1 version or above you will see that in YBP settings we have this performance setting under this performance setting we'll see that we have this improved rest api performance which is going to set the api performance accelerator for for your site now before we enable this i recommend you to first measure the performance without the uh, rest api performance check enabled so we just measure it by clicking on this so here you can see i have the memory consumption php memory consumption of 101 mb and a time of two seconds and number of queries is 70. now this is a blank api call which means when we are not even executing a single ybp function we are actually consuming this much amount of memory this much amount of time and these many queries that is because they're at the time when the wordpress is initialized a lot of plugins are executed now those plugins have absolutely no requirement when it comes to our apis because our apis are specific and pinpointed to fetch a particular information and we do not need all those plugins and all those functions to execute when we are executing our rest api calls so here i'm going to enable this rest api performance and i'm going to save this and now uh, since you can see we do not have this enabled so we can reload this page it says page reload might be required so so first we need to generate the accelerator so here we are going to generate the accelerator okay so the accelerator is generated and here you can see okay yes so the accelerator was generated and when i measure the performance so it is still improving so what i'm going to do is i'm going to disable it now so i'll refresh this status and now it is disabled so i'll enable it so i'll first measure the performance without the accelerator so this is the performance of my api calls without the accelerator and now i'm going to enable it so after enabling i'm going to again click this so this is this button here is generating the accelerator so that is the important thing to note right so now the accelerator is enabled and this particular uh section here it is telling us the exact status of the accelerator because accelerator is basically a file in the mu plugins of your wordpress setup so this uh, signal here is the exact indicator whether the performance is enabled or not so now i'm going to again refresh the accelerator and here you can see we have the exact status that the memory consumption is now reduced to 46 and the number of queries down from 70 to 33 so th it is a overall improvement of 60 percent in time loading and uh, more than 50 percent improvement in number of queries and memory consumption so let's just see if we can measure now here i'm going to uh, measure this so first i'm going to disable this So now I have disabled this and I am going to load this. So here I am going to select the call of the logged in and the verifier. So this is the validate token. So first one is th fetching the logged in menu and the second one is the validate token call. So let's just see how much time they are taking. So at the moment the validate token is taking 2.26 seconds and logged in menu is taking 2.3 seconds. Now when I enable this API performance here and generate the accelerator okay so so here the accelerator is now generated and I'll just verify this okay 
and now if I reload this page so here I'm going to in a enable preserve log and I'm going to re reload this page and we're going to compare the new logged in so here you can see that the time it takes to verify the token is now reduced from 2.26 to 951 milliseconds sim similarly for the logged in menu and that is with along with the firebase authentication that all is happening so that's it from wipe tutorials thanks for watching